मेरे राज रसिक मेरे शाम शाम कब आओगे कब आओगे मेरे प्राण बल्लभ मेरे प्राण प्रीतम कब आओगे कब आओगे कब आओगे कब आओगे Sadji. Title of today's speech is Time and Age Are No Barriers in Devotion. Dear Sundar Sadji, often there is misconception amongst all of us that the right time for devotion or bhakti is our old age only. Our childhood and youth are only meant for enjoyment of worldly objects and material pleasures but Sri Maharaji completely shattered this myth. When his age was merely 26 years he started advancing on the tough path of getting a vision of Param Dham and Sri Raji. He reduced his food intake so much that it became difficult for him to even walk around completely for a short distance. He completely diverted his mind, focus and energy away from worldly attractions. Through the strict and disciplined practice of Jitwani or meditation of Sri Raji, he ultimately was blessed with the much deserving reward for it. He had a divine experience wherein he was able to sight the Rang Mahal in Param Dham and his own super soul or Paratam. Most of the people in that young age of 26 are seen trapped in the golden cage of worldly attractions and their unending cravings and desires. It also said in scriptures that Trishnana Jina Vayamev Jina. That is, our desires never become old, even when we become old. Or, in other words, our desires never end, even when our lives are nearing their end. Rightly, our Sri Kuljam Swarupvani also warns us that Rihu Dunya Bhavri Kovat Janam Gamar Madmati Maya Ki Chaki Sunat Nahi Pukar Sri Mehraj accomplished his goal only through the unwavering practice of love-filled meditation, his determination and his belief on Sri Raji. His life is a source of true inspiration for all of us, even today. So, dear Sundar Sadji, let us all tread the same path of single-minded and love-filled meditation of Sri Raji, even if for 10 minutes only daily. Let's not waste our precious lives on trivial things alone. Let's do our bit and leave the rest to Sri Raji to ensure our success in achieving the true purpose of our lives. Prem Pranamji. <laughs>